Welcome back everybody. Now in this box is a piece of furniture that supposedly converts from an ottoman to a chair to a recliner to a bed. It's popular on Amazon. I've got requests for it. So let's see how it works in today's video. All right, no preliminaries. Let's crack this thing open and see what it looks like. That's, that's interesting. I should point out that I paid $299.95 for this. It currently has a 4.5 star rating on Amazon, about 200 ratings, and it's currently in Amazon's choice. Most of the reviews there are positive, but there were a few people saying that it wasn't very comfortable. It has a four in one design, which is an ottoman chair, recliner, and bed. They say it's ideal for small spaces like dorms and apartments. They also say it has a modern design and user friendly locking mechanisms. There is also an included pillow, but I have to say I didn't really use it very much. First thing I see in the instructions, this unit does not require any assembly. Yes, it's already off to a good start. Now this is my first test that I'm just in ottoman mode. I guess that's how it normally ships. I think there's a pillow in there somewhere too. So let me just see first use here. Just as an ottoman, it feels, it doesn't feel unusually hard. I mean, it, at least in this mode, maybe it's not good to sleep on. It feels well made actually. I did notice when I got up, it kind of wants to pop up. I'm not sure if there's a way of latching that. I'll figure that out later. So it comes like this and it's a perfectly acceptable ottoman, I think. It's pretty uh, nondescript. It doesn't really look like anything unusual. I do see that down there, which is kind of peeking out. Hello. Don't want to uh, hit your foot on that. I should also point out the skirt does have a magnet inside here, so it does stick to this leg when you close it up. But let me do the first conversion. You're going to go to a chair first. Um, look at these instructions. Looks pretty simple. Let's try it out. Lift up all four sides of the skirting. Standing at the side of the unit, it says to lift this up. All right, this is lifted up and here is our extra pillow that comes with it. I'll put that off to the side right now. It says to put these two skirts in. Okay, I guess we're supposed to lift this next. Oh wow, we got a, we got a full on cushion down here. All right, so next we're supposed to push this down, I guess for the seat. Now all I do is just pull this up. I, I guess that's it. It's a very large seat, kind of a small backrest. Well, let's give it a shot. All right. Well, you know, I mean, it's, if I had to compare it to the Ottoman, just as an Ottoman, it seemed more comfortable than this. This back is not, it's not particularly comfortable. It's very deep. Like, I feel like a, like a child sitting in the movie theater with my legs sticking out like that. It's, it's good for, for lounging, I guess. It does seem like the seat part is a lot deeper than the back is. I would have thought the entire thing pulls forward, but it hinges right there. So it's kind of a long seat. All right, so my first thought is it's a, it's, it functional as a chair. Is it the best chair I ever sat in? No, but it does function that, that way. Let's move to the bed and see how that works. First, we're supposed to push this all the way up so that it can kind of release it. Now we're we'll open the chair cushion until it stops. All right, now we've got this part, which supposedly lifts out as well. Put the legs down like that. Bring this down. Whoa. Wow. Let's, uh, let's give this a shot. It may not be the most comfortable bed I've ever laid on, but it does work. It's better than no bed, right? I'm between 5'10 and 5'11 and my head is to the very edge, my feet to the very edge. So if you're six feet over, it'll be a bit short for you. But I can't say I've ever had an ottoman that's converted to a bed before. So it's kind of nice. To convert it to a lounger, all you have to do is just kick this leg out from underneath it and then pull the cushion up there up. This is much better than the chair because the way it contours your body. As a chair, it felt a bit awkward. As a lounger, it feels pretty good. It seems a lot wider than I thought it was going to feel, so that's pretty nice. People in the comments were saying it was kind of hard. I can see that. But for a utility piece of furniture that can kind of serve a lot of purposes, I guess it's not too bad, really. So I guess at this point, what I have to do next is sleep in this. I'm going to convert it to a bed. I'm going to sleep in here tonight and then a few more days. I'll give you my final observations. Anything else I'll learn about this piece of furniture. So let's check back tonight when I'm about to sleep in this piece of furniture. All right, I tried making the, the bed here. I, all I had was one wrinkly uh, fitted twin sheet and it's still kind of loose. So this is a fitted twin sheet and it, it does not fit gray on there, but it should do for right now. So I'm gonna make the rest of the bed and hop in. Ah, here we go. Well, if my head's not all the way to the top, my feet are actually hanging off right now, up to my ankles. So I guess I gotta scooch up a little bit. <sighs> 
feel like I almost knocked the whole thing over. That would be bad. So you can see my feet are hanging off the end and my head's almost all the way to the top. So it's, it's good for like kind of an emergency need to crash somewhere kind of bed, but I don't know about every night, but we shall see how it goes tomorrow morning. All right, here we go. Sleeping in the four in one Ottoman chair, lounger bed setup. I'll see you in the morning and let you know how it went. This should be interesting. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. All right, well, I've got some observations, but I need to get dressed first. All right, well, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is that it doesn't discriminate because my upper and lower back are both sore today. But no, actually, really, the good news is that it does function as a bed. I wouldn't use it every night unless you get some sort of a pad or something. It's a, it's a bit hard overnight. It's not bad at first, but over time, it's not the greatest bed ever. But with that said, if you got a really small place, you need something for one night, you got a friend visiting, it works well for that. But I might invest in a pad to make it a little bit more comfortable. What I wanna do now is kind of a lightning round. I wanna go from ottoman to chair to bed to recliner and back and see how long the process takes. Now that I've done it a few times, it should be pretty easy, but let's see how long it takes, starting now. Chair mode, done. Bed mode, done. The recliner is very fast. Now let's go back to the autumn and see how long that takes. <laughs> And we're done. I think I spent more time messing with the skirt than I did the actual conversion itself. It's very fast once you've done it a couple times, so I have no real complaints about that. It's pretty easy. All right, so in the end, I think this is actually a kind of a nice piece of furniture. It, it worked better than I thought it was going to. I thought it was going to be some horrible assembly. There was no assembly. Converting it from one style to the other was very simple. I think it took longer to mess with the skirt than actually the conversion process. I think the bed is a bit hard to sleep on overnight. I wouldn't use it all the time unless I had some sort of a mattress pad. But if you got someone coming over, you don't really have much room, this would be great for one night. Not only that, but you can just convert it to an ottoman when they're done and you don't have any more space taken up. It might seem a bit expensive, but when you consider the fact that you can get four pieces of furniture out of it, it really isn't that bad. So to those of you who suggested I try it out, thank you very much. If you've tried this product, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.